evil in this world, in this utopia. And um, how they're getting away with it being illegal is whenever the child turns 13 or 18, like 13 to 18, you can unwind them. And it's one of the most messed up things I've ever heard in the process of unwinding someone. Because the way that they saw it is, if you donate the spare parts, it's not killing them. Mm. Yeah. So you would unwind the person. And how this would happen is if uh, tax cuts are made and they're in a government home, that happens. Or if um, they are a child whose parents are unsatisfied with them. Yeah, it's really messed up. Or, yeah, yeah, it was very messed up. And the third one is um, if it's a religious thing. Yeah, because you give 10% of everything to the church, so they gave 10% of the church. Yeah, and it's a very, very messed up book, but I was kind of inspired by it. Because, um, have you guys ever heard of the Human Genome Project? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was inspired by it because I was like, wow, we've gotten to the point where we could possibly literally create babies. And then if we became messed up enough, like this utopian society, exactly, we could completely destroy them. Yeah, which is extremely <laughs> messed up if you start thinking of babies as more of a profit thing than actually having children. It's actually yeah. a little Babes, I can't Yeah. having babies for Texas. Yeah, yeah. This is genetics. Blue eyes. We want blue eyes. No deafness, no shortness, no sunspots or freckles, no moles, no skinny bone elbows that poke out too far, no obesity, include all the talents, no nearsight or farsight. We want the eyes of a hawk, the hearing of a rabbit, no disabilities like dyslexia either. We want our child to be the perfect creature. The Human Genome Project 2.0. Hear your baby's entire life and everything they'll ever know based on their genetic code. Your mail order baby will come complete with a certificate stating, if you are not satisfied with our product, we will dismantle it for you. Because after all, how much is it really like you? Oh. <laughs> and then, um... Oh, um, Gattaca. <laughs> That's a movie I also have <laughs> Peanut Butter Politics, which I have read before, but I don't know if some of you guys have read it. Yeah, it's um, basically the way that I saw it, it's like future regrets now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of waiting for the rest of the fun to happen. I think I actually have this one printed. So I don't have to wait for my small phone to bring it up. I'm so sorry. Okay, so Peanut Butter Politics. Humans, much like wolves, are pack animals. This means, like most pack animals, they look for, invent, try to be, or strive to have a leader. Now, the dog alpha wins the support of the pack by being the strongest. We humans like to believe that we have a more developed sense of intelligence than said dogs. So we claim not to pick our leaders by brute strength. Now, how do we choose our leaders? Through flashing jokes and glamour and lights, we dazzle our, the audience. Uh, because after all, that's what we voters are, an audience. Through erroneous claims, political mudslinging, and flashy shows, we're able to get the pack's attention. But everyone knows reality is a harsh pill to swallow, especially for dogs such as these, who are completely content and at ease with knowing nothing about our democracy. They're content being pets as the politicians.